cut the right fringe. This one's going to break about eight feet or so to his left. Comes across a hill. Good looking putt. What a putt! Oh. Yes. Oh. There are names that usually command respect, and John Patrick Daly is one of them. Daly is known for his zero to hero victory in the 1991 PGA Championship and his playoff victory over Constantino Rocca in the 1995 Open Championship. The father to three was diagnosed with bladder cancer in September 2020. But his 17-year-old son, John Patrick Daly II, just came in good time to proclaim his staggering glory. Let's have a look at how good John Daly's son is. To get to seven under. Oh, oh <laughs> John Patrick Daly. Here is a man who is more known for hitting the ball into oblivion than he is for his golf success. That doesn't mean he hasn't been a successful professional golfer. However, Daly's power off the tee, combined with his outgoing personality, has made him one of golf's most successful and biggest names. Daly was in his maydays in the early 1990s. After attending the University of Arkansas, he turned pro in 1987 and captured his first victory in the 1987 Missouri Open. Daly joined the PGA Tour in 1991 and immediately made an impact. He claimed the PGA Championship in August as an alternate, only after Nick Price dropped out at the last minute. Daly wound up becoming the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year. The award-winning golfer added another major to his resume when he won the Open Championship in 1995. He was a long shot entering the tournament, but wound up a champion after defeating Constantino Rocca in a playoff. After that win, however, Daly's game faded. He struggled on the course, and he struggled with alcohol too. How often would you play professional golf hungover uh, back in the day? A lot, and shot some really good numbers. <laughs> Butch Harmon, a golf coach who was working with Daly, reportedly said in 2008, Daly's got to show me golf is the most important thing in his life, he told The Guardian, and the most important thing in his life is getting drunk. On July 29th, 2001, he married Sherry Miller. Sherry, who came after Daly had gone through a series of heartbreaks, bore him a son, whom they named John Patrick Daly II. Daly the second was born on July 23rd, 2003. Four. This this is some talent right here. We always talk about the talent Dad has, John Daly, but this kid, this kid can really play. Little Daly is currently 17 years old, but there is something in him. His level of determination is worrying most golfers. He's definitely going to take his father's record a notch higher. In late May 2020. The 16-year-old, nicknamed Little John, shocked the world when he tied for first place after 36 holes at the golf course where his given name became a household one 29 years ago. Little John knew what the moment meant, but he was comfortable in it. The pressure felt right. Even though he had never played the course before, he was at ease on it. He had a feeling that everyone else there was on his side. It's not a mystery either. Even those he was competing against at the Dai National Junior Invitational, more than 30 of the nation's best amateur golfers, knew his weight. They couldn't help but get swept up in it all. His approach to golf is not delicate. He plays quickly like his father, and it looks like he's got a lot of talent like his father. Just watch this golf swing. Fundamentals are perfect. Great address position, good turn into the backswing. Look at the balance. Looks a lot like his dad when he finishes. Swing harder, hit farther. Accuracy is important, but not as important as shortening the hole for the next shot. At just 17, little John can already hit farther than his dad, who was for years one of Tor's longest hitters. Amazing, right? Well, stay put up to the end of the video, because you don't want to miss what we have for you next. Now, in case you aren't familiar with Little John's game, well, let's just say he subscribes to the same grip it and rip it philosophy of his dad. Little John has stolen the show at the Father Son Challenge in recent years, and he has the potential to bomb it. However, the fact that John II is in this position should come as no surprise. 
By the time he was two, he was intrigued by golf. By six, he had shown enough talent for Dad to know his son might have a gift like his own. By ten, he was playing in tournaments. You've seen him hit some fantastic golf shots. Yeah, under some trying conditions considering he has never been in a situation like this. From there, he began to appear on occasion in nationally televised father-son tournaments. Because of his dad, little John also got the opportunity to travel the world along the way, visit prestigious golf courses, and meet countless celebrities. He remembers what it was like to experience some of golf's biggest stages and most honoured venues up close. He remembers particularly what it felt like during a British Open week, and he could often be found on the chipping green in the days before Daly played in an event. Attached to Dad's hip, mimicking his every move, usually with one of his wedges in hand. Oh yeah, he's 16 years old. I can't keep up with him now. He hits it so far. So I he mean, can outdrive you right now, John. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, I'm what's he? Know. What's he hitting it? What, what's it? What's it? What, an average drive for John? He's he's flying at about 300, 305 now. Wow. Daily says, I've also taught my kids little John and his two daughters, to be independent, but I'm always there for them and tell them to ask me anything. All the way through sixth grade, little John travelled with his dad, with tutors and Daly himself serving as his teachers. Dad focused on math and history. So in 2015, Daly decided it was time for a more structured education and enrolled his son at Montverde Prep School and at Bishopsgate a junior golf academy outside Orlando. Three days after his dad's cancer reveal, little John, 16, fired a final round, 68, to win the International Junior Golf Tour's fall kickoff event. And earlier this year, he finished runner-up at the Die National Junior Invitational at Crooked Stick, where Big John won the 1991 PGA Championship. A kiss of the Wanamaker Trophy for the champion from Crooked Stick. In November 2020, John Daly's son announced his college commitment, opting to follow in his father's footsteps and attend the University of Arkansas. John Daly Sr. played at Arkansas between 1984 and 1987 on a golf scholarship. He left college in the summer of 1987 to turn pro. Early in his career, he was playing at several minor events before he picked up his first win at the 1987 Missouri Open. In the 2020 golf season, Arkansas finished 6th at the Jerry Pate National Intercollegiate, tied for 6th at the Legends College Invitational, and 3rd at the Blessings College Invitational. The team was unable to play in the NCAA Championships last season due to the coronavirus pandemic. With time, little John's game will grow. Second place finishes will become first place finishes. His drives will travel even farther. His short game will become even sharper. Title contention will become the norm. And as it does, the spotlight will become brighter. The expectations will surge. As long as he plays the game he grew up with, the game in his blood, the comparisons will continue, no matter how much father and son try to avoid them. In time, little John can outgrow them, and outgrow his nickname too. Already he's begun to carve out a legacy of his own. We wish him the very best in his career. I hope you've enjoyed our video and equally got a tip of what you should do to start a successful business. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. Please give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.